Hey SJVA, I'm Chris and let's talk to some volunteers at your attendance barbecue. Is this your first time volunteering at the attendance barbecue? No. no. How many times have you volunteered? Oh my god, I forget. <laughs> okay, we got a real volunteer here. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite part about the attendance barbecue? To see the kids having fun and the smiles and eating. Okay, thank you very much. So is this your first time volunteering here? Yes it is. What, uh, what made you come out? My wife, uh, <laughs> she's the president of the PTSA. Oh. Yes. Uh, why do you volunteer here? I volunteer because I like the school, mm -hmm. the staff, and the children. I have a child that comes here, but I consider all of them my children. All right. I want to help out as much as I can. What's your favorite part about volunteering at the attendance barbecue? I enjoy spending time with the people that are coming to help. Also, I enjoy look, seeing my kids coming and they enjoy seeing me here volunteering. It's your first time volunteering here? Yes. Yes? Um, what made you want to come out? To see my cousins. Your cousins are students here? Yeah. What are their names? Alexa, Adrian, and Alyssa. What's your favorite part about volunteering? Um, see the parents. So you see uh, more and more parent volunteer. I see a lot of different faces this year, which is very good for our school. Uh, our school made up of a lot of uh, partnership from students, from parents, especially parents. So I'm so glad to see so many parents are here today. All right. Uh, Mr. Wynn, when did we start the attendance barbecue? Wow. Um, we started the, the attendance barbecue about two, three years ago. Um, the students and the parents work really hard trying to get the students here and the parents, when the students are not here, they, they take, do independent study. And that's, that's really, if you look at it, it's a lot of inconvenience. But we have a, good, uh, a great parent support and, and, uh, and then student support. They always come and get independent study so that can we, we can make the attendance go. And our attendance goal is 98%. And the reason why we want it so high is one, our student can do it, our parent can do it. Two, we need the funding for all these different special events that for our students and, and, and our staff to, to benefit from. Okay? So that's why we, we advocate so much for, for, for this attendance. Now to give back, since uh, the student give a lot of effort in trying to be here every day, and the parents trying to, trying to bring their students here to do independent study. So in order to give back a little bit, we decided to celebrate with the students. We yeah. celebrate with them in such a way that once a month, we open this barbecue, sometimes it's hot dog, sometimes it's a uh, hamburger, and we have uh, students that may or may not want to eat um, meat. So we also make accommodation for uh, veggie burgers as well. So. In my integrated math 3 honors class, we just learned about exponential equations and functions. And in order to make that knowledge more applicable to real life, we did a project on um, interest rates and buying a car. So students had to research three different banks and savings accounts as well as CDs and find the highest rate that they can get and find how much money they would have after seven years with starting with $10,000. So they had to find different banks that would be most advantageous to saving their money. And the second part, they got to choose a car that they want to buy and they had to figure out how to finance it and how, which financing option would be best for them. The Cahoots program is a cool online gaming system. You can enter in your own questions um, for review for the students. They get to compete against each other. They get points for getting their answer in quickest. And there's a leaderboard that says, you know, who's won after each question. Um, the kids really like it. We use it for review for our math topics and science. We can also use it as a reward. When the students have done really well during the day, we'll do a Disney one where it'll tell us They'll ask you facts about Disney characters or um, some different fashion ones. There's there's all kinds of really cool cahoots that they like to do. This is actually my first year using cahoots. Um, it's pretty fun because we, so sometimes we do quizzes on it and um, it's usually timed. So, and then we have these leaderboards and like whoever wins, uh, sometimes Miss Handel, she gets them a prize or something. And, 
it's pretty fun. With Kahoot, it's easier for us to understand because like we have all of our materials because really all we need is a pencil and paper. But when like she'd have to read the problem and she'd have to write it down on the board, we get to actually do it by ourselves. Like she'll, the problem will be on the computer. It'll give us a limited amount of time. We don't answer in that time. That means we don't understand. And then she'll go over the problem. Yes, we've just been using it for about a month or so. And the students seem to really like it. It's a really good review tool.